Hello, second grade. This is module three, lesson one, and our objective today is I can bundle and count ones, tens, and hundreds to 1,000. So we're going to do something like we did in the last module. And I've got my centimeters, centimeter um, meter stick ruler here. And we are going to start at 30. And you're going to tell me what 10 less than 30 is. Did you say 20? If you did, good job. Now what's 10 less than 45? Correct, 35. And what is 10 less than 51? 41, good. And what is 10 less than 63? 53. Excellent job. And 10 less than 76. 66. You're right. Good job. Okay, so I have a clock here. And here is my minute hand. Now, if you're trying to fi figure out what the minutes are on a clock, you have to count by fives. Because each of these notches is one minute and when you're looking at the clock you don't really want to count each notch you want to just be able to look at it and do it quickly so counting by fives because we know that there's five notches in between is going to be the easiest way so we're not counting one two three four five we're counting by fives for each rotation here. So let's see how many minutes are in one hour by counting by fives. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So there are 60 minutes in one hour. Good job counting by fives. Okay, so I have some sticks here. And I'm going to make a bundle. So let's count how many sticks I put in that bundle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten sticks in a bundle here. Now I want to count out one hundred sticks. Let's see how many bundles of ten it would make, we would need to make a bundle of one hundred here. So let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have enough bundles here to make 100. Let's count how many bundles I have all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 bundles of 10 make 100. Oh, here, okay, so I have several bundles of 100 now, and I want to make a thousand. So if 10 sticks make a bundle of 10, and 10 bundles of 10 make 100, how many bundles of 100? do you think we're going to need to make a thousand? Well, let's see. Let's count by 100s first to make sure we have enough bundles here. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So we have enough bundles here to make a thousand. 
Now let's see how many bundles there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you seeing, are you thinking that there's a coincidence here? There's ten ones and ten and a bundle of ten. There's ten tens and a bundle of one hundred. And there's ten one hundred bundles in one thousand. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so now I need to figure out is six tens three hundreds or eight ones bigger? So which one is the biggest? Six tens, three hundreds, or eight ones? Did you say three hundreds? If you did, good job. Now which one is the smallest? Did you say eight ones? Excellent. Now I need to write these as numbers. So go ahead and write these as numbers. Push pause and then push play when you're done. So did you write six tens like this? Six tens is also 60. Did you write three hundreds like this? Three hundreds is written like three hundred. And did you write eight ones like this? Excellent job. All right, here's our next one. Which one is the bigger number? Nine hundreds, three tens, or five ones? Did you see nine hundreds? If you did, good job. And which one was the smallest? Did you fight, say five ones? Excellent job. Now go ahead and write these as numbers, just like we did in the last one. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Is this how you wrote nine hundreds? And is this how you wrote three tens? And how did you write five ones? Does it look like this? <coughs> Good job if you did. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. All right, so I've got a couple more numbers here. I have four ones, four tens, and six hundreds. Which one is the biggest number? Right, six hundreds. And which one is the smallest? Right, four ones. Now let's write these as numbers. So go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done writing these like numbers. Did your four ones look like this? And did your four tens look like this? And how about your six hundreds? Did they look like this? If you did, excellent job. <coughs> All right, so I've got some bundles here. I have bundles of 100, bundles of 10, and I have a couple ones here. So let's count how many bundles of 100 there are. And I want you to write it out, write the number out. So count them and then write the number out. All right, let's count them together. One, two, three, four. So did you write it down like this? Four hundreds, because these are bundles of 100. So we, and there are four bundles. So we needed to write it as 400. How about these bundles of 10? Count how many there are and write out what the number would look like. All right, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. Did you count six and write it like this? <coughs> and go ahead and count the ones now and write it out. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you count eight and write it like this? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Now it's asking us, what is the total number of sticks? So I have 400 sticks here. I have 66 here. And I have eight sticks here. Now we need to put all of these together and write one big number. What is that number going to look like? I want you to write it down. Does the total number that you wrote down look like this? You should have wrote 468. So it would have been 468. Good job. Now it's your turn to show show us what you know. So you're going to erase all of your board or your desk and you're going to write number one and you need to write it like this. So you're going to write six tens, ten one hundreds, ten ones, and then over on the other side you're going to write one thousands, one ten, and one hundreds. And the reason why you want to do this is because you're drawing a line to match these up. <clears throat> so this one says ten, ten tens would equal which of these? If you have ten tens, would it equal one thousand, one ten, or one hundred? You're going to match one, one, or sorry, you're going to match ten one hundreds up with which one over here? 10 one hundreds equals 1,000, 110, or 100. And 10 ones equals how much? 1,000, 110s, or 100. Then you need to write number two, and you're going to write four tens, two hundreds, and nine ones. And you need to circle which one is the biggest number, the largest, and you're going to put a box around the smallest number. And then you're going to write number three, and you're going to draw models of each and label the following numbers. So you need to draw a model of how, what two tens would look like, and then write out the number. You need to draw a model of what seven ones would look like and write out the number. And then you're going to draw a model of what six hundreds would look like and then write out the number. After you're all done, you're going to take a picture and seesaw it to your teacher. Good luck.